Rangers transfer news. Rangers about to spend some Champions League money. And I, I mean, the transfer news literally died, like, before the season even started, before that Levy game. I mean, realistically, nothing's really been done. Transfer-wise, like, like literally. Like, nothing. Like, I mean, all right, Sikowski left, but in terms of innings, people coming in, nothing's been done. There's been the odd rumour here and there, and I thought that did depend on the Champions League money. But we, we, we qualified for the Champions League last week, I mean, it's Wednesday. It is literally a week since we qualified, right? We found out who we got in the groups, and yet here we are a week later, and potentially Ross Barkley could be coming to Rangers. It says here, agent offers former Chelsea midfielder Ross Barkley to Rangers with Celtic also in that picture. It says, Rangers have been reportedly offered the services of Ross Barkley by his agent after his release by Premier League club outfit Chelsea with Celtic also in the picture. According to Football Scotland, G5 from Broncos believed to be interested in signing midfielder for the de deadline, but the England International's links have been all coming from his representatives. Um, 28 year old earned 200 grand a week at Stamford Bridge and he knows it'll have to take a wage cut to move to either Celtic or Jersey now on the cards. Um, it just seems a bit ridiculous. One, there are a few things that's a bit ridiculous, right? One, the guy's 28. I thought the guy had been about 25, but he's been around that long, apparently. He's no that young anymore. And 200 grand a week. 200 grand a week, man. It's fucking embarrassing. Like, I mean, if you combine Celtic and Rangers, like, 11s, like, you know, combined, that would make 22. But, you know, like, if you look at both 11s, I mean, I doubt... All 11 players would be making much more than 200 grand a week. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a wee bit off the mark there. But, like, realistically, if you have 11 players on 10 grand a week, you know, there's like 1,110. I mean, so 20 grand a week, 11 players, 220 grand. So, I mean, that, that's if every, all, every, all a single 11 players are on 20 grand a week. You know, seems a bit uh, ridiculous to me, but is he set to sign for Rangers? I'm not really 100% sure. Would I want this to happen? Is he better than nothing? Yes, but I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the greatest movie of all time, but he is, an, he is a good player. But again, it's, I, Ramsey's much better than Barkley, and look how that fucking turned out, you know. Like, I would have said Ram, Ramsey, right, let's be real, right? Ramsey as a player is better than Tom Lawrence. It is what it is, but Tom Lawrence has just worked out a lot better than Aaron Ramsey. If we get Ramsey at his best last year, he probably would have won us the league and the, the Europa League. I mean, albeit we got the Europa League and he missed that penalty, so he did, all he had to do was score a penalty, we probably would have won the Europa League. He didn't have to play fucking unreal. But if we got Ramsey at his best, you know, 13-14 season for Arsenal, um... Who knows what would have happened? I think he single-handedly could have turned the league around because the amount of points that we threw away in the league with draws and losing to Celtic after going one 0 up with a Ramsey goal, um, you know, he, he could have been that guy to get us across the line because he did miss quite a few decent chances as well. Looking back at games, but Ross Barkley, what Ross Barkley are we going to get? It's all about the present. It's not about what they did eight year ago. It's not about what they did ten year ago, five year ago. It's all about right now. And is Ross Barkley really going to make a difference for us in the Champions League? He can, and the fact. He'd be on a free. Maybe.